All right, everybody, we're out here at Al Lopez Parking, ready to kick off the Friday vlog out here, hanging out at the stadium. Um, you know, we are super excited for today, as it's gonna be an awesome and fun day out here. All the trucks should be here, but first off, we're gonna begin the vlog. It looks like um, this is a bad uniform, so I'm gonna do a clap transition in out here, and um, my clothes will change. It feels like I'm Mr. Beast. So here we go. Now changed. Um, this is some. Great outfit. Let's head to the stadium. Let's see what's going on there. All right, everybody, we're about to drive by Raymond James Stadium. Let's see what on earth is going to be going on here in the pits. Oh, I see two trucks. I see Grave Digger and I see Megalodon. Um, let's see what else do I see. There's I see Grave Digger and I see Megalodon. Um, there's a JCB machine. Um, I see Mo Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. Um, let's see here. Oh, uh, there's a uh, Black Pearl and El Toro Loco. There's Jester and Kraken. Um, where's everybody else at? Oh, I see Lucas Stabilizer, JCB Digatron. Then I see way down over here, I see Bad Company. Oh, we just got here and they're already turning someone on. Been out of the car for less than a minute and they're turned somebody on. I don't know if that's just an RII test or what, but somebody's turned on. Somebody has just turned on. I don't know who, but we're walking to find out who on earth it is. Oh my, I see the announcers. This goes DJ K Young, um, uh, Jabari and um, KCG, they all just walked by. Here's the rig out here for Tom Foolery. Who on earth is on? The strange thing is, oh my goodness, the a green piece of Kraken. And there's the Jester and um, Kraken hoods. And they're working on Lucas Stabilizer right there. Oh, I think I see Max D is running a CRD. Max D's running a CRD this weekend. I don't know what the body is, though. But there's Max D. The Toro Loco and Black Pearl over here. We're getting those trucks worked on and ready to go. There's the Black Pearl hood. Here's a Black Pearl hood. I can literally put my hand through the screen and I can touch it. And it's like cold. Definitely has some bit of a damage though to this hood. So they're definitely gonna need to fix that up. There's the back of Black Pearl. Gravedigger and Megalodon. You remember when I walked over here, I gotta be careful. There's the amp bed that, um, you actually see my footprint still in it from last night. And then there's, um, there's Gravedigger, Megalodon. Here's the, um, here's Black Pearl, Tor Loco. You know, stuff worked on. Um, let's see what else is over here. There's the pit party area. There's the Grave Digger ride truck area. See some of the tents over there. Like I see the um, tents for JCB, Digatron, Grave Digger, Shaker, Kraken. I hear music in the stadium. There's uh, here. There's Grave Digger, Megalodon, Lucas Stabilizer, Max D, JCB, Digatron. All the felt trucks are right there. Um, yeah, so that's about the end. There's not much else to say. We'll see when more stuff happens. There's bad company, everybody. There he is, sitting right out here. And um, I was really about. Okay, <laughs> it seems like whenever I walk down here, they turn on somebody. Somebody's on again. I think it's an RAI test. I don't know who it is. I'm pointing the camera down at the ground. Bad camera work by me. My bad. Forgot that was it and I was filming. Hey, 
think they're doing RAI tests on the truck. Here's the Jester and Kraken hoods. I think it's one of these trucks right here. One of these trucks right here is getting an RII test done on. Well, right here is Shaker. Um, for some reason, he doesn't even have his tires on yet, but it looks like they're working on that right now to get Shaker ready to go out here for the weekend. But Shaker does not even have his tires on yet. I guess they're going to need to figure that out soon so I can go to practice. Oh, only stop. Alright, um, we're gonna do more RAI testing on the trucks. Um, I don't know who that is. Is that Gravedigger or Medley? It's Gravedigger, I think. Let's walk around. Here. Uh, I'm gonna walk around here and see who's on. Um, oh, uh, there you go. If that is Grave Digger, I believe.
like they're trying to start cracking. Cracking's having some difficulties though. Looks like they're having some. Come on. Come on, cracking. Dude, they're having a really hard time with that truck here.
what's up for practice is Grave Digger. So, um, let's go ahead and walk down here. get it for you guys but Kraken looks like they're just having a lot of issues on the truck oh here they come looks like they dropped him off way over there they dropped him off what an unfortunate break out here for Kraken in this area the tow truck back out and he's already um not doing too good not good for Kraken looks like they're bringing out Shaker
set off. Trying to get Kraken fired up. Nick is trying so hard to get that truck fired up, man. I kind of feel kind of bad. Poor, poor Nick. You see, like, this truck keeps having problems. It seems like every single week. everything here at the stadium for today another fun time hanging out at the stadium um yet again i'm you know it's kind of sad that it's already over and now we're going to have to wait another year to um wait to um do to do this and get to come to the stadiums on third on come to the stadium on thursday and friday and watch this you know definitely one of the highlights of my year doing this and now we're gonna have to wait another year here um it almost looks like um they're towing max d across the thing so 
I'll the actually may not be over. They may tell over Max D real quickly, but you know that'll be end up for here. You can see over here at the pit party. There's Grave Digger. There's Grave Digger across the street. Bad Company's also over there as well as um, Lucas Stabilizer, Mohawk Warrior, JCB Digatron. Half the field is actually over there. Megalodon's also over there somewhere. Somewhere. Um, here they are. They're towing Max D across. Um, with a secret body on. Uh, I can't tell you guys what body Max D is running, but Max D is running a um, uh, new special body. So, um, yeah. Just like, you know, telling them across to the um, things. That way they can um, keep the body um, not leaked. And they are towing Max D across with the tarp on it. It looks like even though Tom will not be driving this week, they're still going to keep that tradition of having a different body, maxi body every week on. They're going to keep that tradition still going. As they're going to tow Max D back there. See Megalodon and Bad Company as well. And all the other trucks that are over here being ready for Pip party tomorrow tomorrow and uh, let's go ahead and take a also a look in the pit area so that now makes seven out of the um 12 trucks crossed not all the trucks crossed today some of them just couldn't quite cross due to maybe breakage or having to put the bodies back together what you can see down there is el toro loco black pearl as well and fun fact, Black Pearl will be receiving a new different body out here this weekend to represent for Steps Towing. So, you know, that will be interesting. You can see parts of the body is laying in there. We cannot wait to see that beautiful thing on the truck tomorrow. It'll be cool to see that. You can see the crew working hard on the back there on El Toro Loco in Black Pearl. Getting them ready for tomorrow. Big action. See parts of the body right here. You can see the tailgate, the hoods of Black Pearl, all the other different body parts that Black Pearl has. You can see them all right here. Over here, we've got Jester and Kraken. See those two trucks, they're working hard on them. I'm getting them ready to go. You can see Chucky and Brooke working really hard to get these trucks back together. I mean, you just got to give them props. You know, I believe both of them are under 18 and they're working super hard on these Monster Jam trucks to get them ready for the show. And that's just amazing. Like, great work to them. Like, you know, high, high levels of respect. You see Brooke working on the body. Chucky working on the roof of the Jester. Right here, we got um, Kraken Hood. And there's even a piece of green cracking down there. I don't know why that's down there. And then, um, see more here. The Tom Foolery trailer. I don't know where the rest of the Pagli Relos are at. At, uh, as I only see Brooke out there and I'll see Jane Chucky. I don't know where the rest of the crew went. As you see, most of the people are probably going home right now. Now I'm leaving. There is another car leaving. Um, I can even see Cole Bernard, he's one of the few drivers still here, him and Jamie. Probably the only drivers that are here. <clears throat> and then back here, we got Ryan Distroon and Shaker back here. Shaker's back with the red body. Body has no, uh, uh, last weekend, he couldn't run the red body last weekend in... Uh, Indianapolis because the red body got destroyed in Houston not Houston but in um, St. Louis so you know they got the body back up and running to go so they can be ready out here for this weekend's action and you know we'd also love to give a thanks out here to um, Star Creations as um if you saw in my video, there is actually a little part where we, some dude from Star Creations, whoever, I don't know what his name is, but basically he just, um, he walked around 
and he offered like if like hey you know um if you give me your phone uh, you can uh i'll walk around and get some cool videos of up close to the truck so i of course said yes and um so he did that for us so you know whoever you are just thank you for doing that making some good quality content for the channel channel just thank you thank you for doing that very being uh, very nice to us here at spongebob fan 23 and um that's gonna be a wrap here of hanging at hanging out at the stadium sad that it's already over and that hanging out at the stadium for 2024 is already over over you know we were just like you know we spent so long hyping up for this we spent like you know months like nearly like half a year almost hyping up and looking forward to this and it's already over so, you know it's sad as it is we'll be back next year doing this for sure we'll be back for more of these vlogs of hanging out at the stadium but um yeah but this is still not the end of the video as next we're gonna actually be cutting to where we're actually gonna go hang out at walmart we're gonna go back to walmart yet again see what the cool spin master trucks they have we'll also go to target and see what kind of cool stuff they have there we'll also go to the pet store as well and see what other kind of stuff they have there as well so we'll see you guys at walmart in just a second all right so we're back here at walmart guys we're in here looking in this um we're at the same walmart as we were yesterday we got this tub filled with a bunch of stuff now there's a towel in here i don't know who put a towel in here and then we got a bunch of stun trucks purple grave digger um northern nightmares so we just got a bunch i believe mix 32 i believe stuff um i don't think there's a slicer in here here sadly i think all the slicers that were probably in here have all probably been taken out there's even in here um a cliff starburst monster vet in here legendary truck this actually does look pretty cool we also got a samson in here it's cool probably two of the best um looking hot wheels monster trucks hot wheels has ever released in the hot wheels monster truck series Another Velociraptor, more and more stuff. Um, Dragon, Grim, Grape, Grim, Grave Digger, Grimace, Grave Digger, or I guess as you can call it, Purple Grave Digger, Legend, Cancel. Um, no, Monster Mart Rottweiler as well, but nothing really is in here. It is um, in here, that is anything of good. And down here on this aisle, we got more trucks. I'm more the same. There's stuff up there, but I don't believe those are any slicers. Once you try Hot Wheels Monster right here, sometimes they do get Spin Masters hidden in here. So, you know, a um, bunch of like um, stuff. You got double packs. Um, got a bunch of stuff out here, but I don't think there's any Spin Master trucks hidden in there. Found right here a. Um, a stunt truck we'll go ahead and put that up right here on here we've got son of a digger another stunt truck and then a calavera a purple greater legend and then a uh ranger rescue right here we've got a stunt truck another stunt truck a zombie and then uh northern nightmare and some zombies and then right here we got a northern nightmare that fell out we've got northern nightmare right here zombie um let's see here and then we got another zombie and then a a crush cycle then we got son of a digger calavera calavera this one's a mix 31 and mix 32 stuff. Northern Nightmare, Northern Nightmare, Zombie, um, another Zombie, Ranger Rescue, Purple Greater Legend, Northern Nightmare, Zombie, Ranger Rescue, Northern Nightmare, Son of a Digger, Son of a Digger, Zombie. Nothing really here. This also kind of fell. Right here, we got the Bakugan set. We got, we got the Monster Mutt. We got the El Toro Loco one. And then right here, we even do have the Orange Bad Company. And there's, that's pretty much it for here. We'll meet you at the next place. Once again, here's a bit of another mini rant of where are the Feastables, guys? Um, no, it's not the sponsor of the video, but still, guys, where are they? They're like gone. What happened? Mr. Beast. Hey, guys, tag Mr. Beast in the comment section and bring back the Feastables. We really want to see more Feastables. Like, they got this junk here, this Hershey's, you know? Come on, man. We need to get Feastables back. We want Feastables back. I love eating Feastables. Mr. Beast. Please bring them back. This is not a sponsor, but you know, Mr. Beast, please bring them back. Tag them in the comment section, guys, so we can bring back Feastables. All right, everybody, we're now at the pet store. As you can see right here, we got some goldfish, more goldfish, more fish. Got some W fish here. Um, it says, my hello, my name is Jinx. Nice to meet you. I don't know where he's at. Uh, I believe that's him right there. That's a turtle. More fish up there. More and more fish. More and more fish. More, more, and more, and more fish. Got the purple lights out here with some more fish. 
There's some more fish. I'm assuming we got a SpongeBob house in there. More and more fish and fish. Over here, we got the cats. We got, look at this kitty kitty right here, looking right here. We got this kitty right there. We got this big boy right here. Yep, he sure is. He's laying there, sleepy. We got this kitty kitty right here. What's up, kitty kitty? We got this guy right here. He's looking at oh, the camera. Look at his eye. Oh, look at his eye. Oh, oh. hey, buddy. Oh, one of the eyes looks like it doesn't have something in it. It looks like it could be sad. going white. Um, You know, that the bit sad poor kitty kitty. And then um, we can go ahead and start looking at the other stuff. Right here, we got... um. Here we got the um, hamsters. We got a hamster right here. I don't know where he went. Oh, I think I see him. He's under the water fountain. There he's under the, his water fountain. This hamster right here. Um, looks like he's in his house. And this hamster right here. I think he's also in his house, maybe. This little mouse right here. He's walking around. He's about to go start running on his wheel. Let's see. Will he run on his wheel? This guy just hopped into his food bowl. See, will he really run for us? Run for us. Oh, uh, no, he didn't. He's going to go climb this house. This guy right here is all up in his house. And this guy, this, like, um, gerbil. Oh, slash Mongolian gerbil. He's gone. Missing. Don't know where this guy's at. Don't know where this guy's at. Um, this, this, they're these, um, guinea pigs right here. They're really fluffy, really cute, really cool. More guinea book pigs right here. Then over there is some more stuff, but we can't really film it because there's people in the way. Out uh, here we got our parrots. Potty ate all me cookie dough. Four, five, and then we got more parrots in here. And right here we got a scorpion right here, kind of like Stinger. We got a fancy Pac-Man frog. I don't know where he's at. I don't even see him in there. He's hidden. Maybe you guys will see him. Let me know in the comments down below if you can see the Pac-Man frog. Right here we got some corn snakes. I can't really see the corn snakes either, but let me know in the comments down below if you can see him. Out here we got the um the crested gecko. Oh um uh he's right here actually. There he is. He's right there. Then right here we got a green tree frog. Um I don't know where the green tree frog is at. You know, if you do see the guys, the green tree frog in here, let me know in the comments down below. It could be hiding somewhere. You know, he is green, so it could be camouflaging. It could be in his house. Um, I don't, I don't really know. Right here, we got a gecko somewhere. I don't even know where he's at. He's missing. He's probably in his house. Let me know in the comments down below if you can see him. Right here, we got this chameleon right here. He's a really cool guy. Look at him. He wants to be free. Somebody please come and adopt him. And somebody come to the Pet Smart Mart by Raymond James to come and adopt him. There's another gecko in here, but I can't really see him. Right here, we got more lizards, and they're all hanging out on top of their houses. Um, bearded dragons. Right here, there's supposed to be a python. I don't know where he's at. Um, uh, I don't know where he's at. Let me know in the comments down below if you can see the, the ball python. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you can see him. And down here, we got more and more lizards. And then something also really cool that you can see right um excuse me there are more fish Hola. and then right here we got um, more houses and stuff like that more kind of like fish aquariums for uh, decorating for fish aquariums they used to have spongebob stuff here but it looks like all the spongebob stuff is sadly gone i remember at pet store they used to have like spongebob's house crusty crab squidward's house this almost looks like um karen right here karen and mystery the seahorse and that's not it, sadly. I mean, I remember these have bun all the SpongeBob characters, all the um, the sponge, all the houses like SpongeBob's house and Squidward's house and the Krusty Krab. But now it's sadly all gone. Fine, but so that's gonna be out here for the pet store. We'll meet you all in Target. All right, everybody. They we're here at um. Walmart out or at Target out here is what they got. Not much. They got more old double pack there. They got a bunch of mystery mutters out here of Dragon and El Toro Loco. Got Luke Stabilizer and Jester 2 pack. Zombie and Whiplash. El Toro Loco and the Red Grave Digger. Maxine the Son of the Digger. Then they just have a bunch of old uh, mix 
33 zombies. We don't even have some um, big scales. We got the big scale dragon right here. We're still waiting for Spoon Master to update and correct the back part of dragon as well. Hopefully they can get this here. Got Sparkle Smash when this gets made into a real life truck one day. The 124 scale zombie um, right here. Right here, we got the regular ones and we got two red ones. And then right here, we got um, an old nine pack from 2021 that features Stone Crusher, Max Contrast Dragon, Boneyard, Grave Digger, Bakugan Dragonoid, um, Darkest Neo, El Toro Loco, Red Vic um, Burn Victim Zombie, Split Paint Job, World Final 16, Bounty Hunter, uh, Soldier Fortune, and Bulldozer. We made it to Target and they actually have Feastables and they got the new flavor as well. This is actually really cool. I'm definitely gonna have to try these. Wow, these are really cool. They got the milk chocolate and the milk crunch. It's a new flavor. This is this is crazy. Wow. It's the same, it's the same one. It's just different packaging. That's mm. all. Well, Mr. Beast says these are kind of like new. These are more newer packaging. Wow, this new is actually packaging. really cool. That doesn't mean that the thing is new. Well, Mr. Beast said they were new in his videos. So. Did they taste new? I don't know. I'll have to see. I've never tasted them before. We're definitely going to taste these. These are really cool. It's, it's cool that we found this haul of Feastables. Alrighty, so we're about to drive past Ray J. Let's see if they crossed any, uh, over any of the other trucks. Um, I see Lucas Stabilizer. Um, uh, let's see. Also, I see Maxi with the tarp on it. Uh, that's cool. That's gonna be the end of the vlog. Sadly, you know, another year in Tampa has come to the come to an end as far as the vlogging goes. Hanging out outside the stadium on Thursday and Fridays. It's kind of sad that it's over, but you know, you can be happy at the same time because we're getting closer to Monster Jam action occurring. And everybody, please be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can be notified for when. And more Monster Jam action comes out from this weekend. All right, goodbye. Have a God-blessed day. We'll see you all soon for some more Monster Jam action. Peace out.